I'm so aware now how like the whole of a social media thing is significant. You know, yeah. you want to engage with the audience, get positive reviews, and that's but what I'm. But I that the more people that see your story and buy into your story before, so I don't have children, so I have no need for the cop. But the point is, if they buy into it and what you're trying to achieve, they're going to be a lot more forgiving with reviews and stuff. That yeah. you, you will get people that criticize it and say it's too expensive or whatever, but it doesn't matter if they're not your core audience. Yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah. It, it's arguably so. Say if you sell a hundred, you might get five that aren't the nicest, but if you get twenty that say, you know what, it's brilliant. And ironically, it's like a like a car safety belt. You never know it works until you crash. Exactly. Hopefully no one who ever uses the product will ever have a bad experience you know no. versus but you almost you don't know what you don't know but i think you'll do really well from that and like likewise just you know being honest and sharing more about the the story and what it's about and hopefully the film that we're going to do you can use that footage and that will yeah. make a massive thing to buy people into the vision if that makes sense and then yeah. likewise just what we were saying before when you try and come across as a real person if things aren't perfect it's like yeah i'm kind of doing this on my own i'm doing my best i'll fix it i'll do whatever you need yeah yeah but i'm not jeff bezos i'm not a forty thousand person business no and it, but but again but like people buy and they will pay a premium for stuff because ironically like customer service is so valuable so yeah. i'd almost guarantee that when you start to sell in which you will the phone number it probably will be you at the other end same as with my stuff but it's me yeah. i'll do anything i humanly can to make it better and that's Absolutely. worth a lot of money yeah you know, versus yeah, yeah. again an amazon my wife bought my father-in-law a rugby top for his birthday it didn't quite fit and she was going to say oh, i decided to leave it to one side luckily it fits me but the point is other <laughs> bigger uh manufacturers and different types of manufacturers there's there's not the same level of care and stuff that you know people like handcrafted and locally sourced and yeah local entrepreneurs and stuff that you know, I, I touch some wood, there'll be a really good story there. And then likewise, do you know um, a lady called Sarah Blakely that runs known Spanx in the US? Uh, I've heard of, yes. She's a brilliant lady. So basically I did one of her kind of masterclass things. And but So she, female founder, she wanted to launch a new product and it was all about women's shapewear and stuff. But she just worked really damn hard for years and years and years. Even when she had a lot of people tell her, no, it's stupid, you don't need to. There's bigger companies, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, they sell a billion dollars worth of stuff now, but still solely owned, female owner. But just, she's really nice, but it's the vision and the way that she comes across. Yeah. Is that you You can't fake that in video. You know what I mean? You instantly know if you like someone or not. 